Hi everyone. I tried to record outside today because it's super lovely and I wanted you to be able to hear the birds, but there's just a bunch of construction going on somewhere down the road and people keep driving by in their trucks and I decided to spare you that. So hopefully I can find a quiet place to record sometime where you can hear birds and nice nature sounds. So other than that, today I wanted to talk about Mushroom, the art challenge that I put out on Instagram and Twitter so that people could follow along with me and draw a bunch of mushrooms. I came up with this idea with the help of two of my patrons, Bronwyn and Liz. I was looking for an excuse to draw mushrooms. They're really weird and cool and I wanted to explore different shapes and textures and colors because I use mushrooms in my art a lot and I wanted to have a greater knowledge of what I could do with them. So they helped me coin the hashtag mushroom and I made a list of mushrooms, one for each day in the month of May. And what people are doing is they use that mushroom and draw it just as is, kind of like an observing nature painting or drawing. Or they take it and they do something creative with it, which is really cool to see. I've seen some really fantastical illustrations, some little sculptures, some characters or costume designs based off of the mushroom of the day, and I have been loving seeing everything. Um, I've also been trying to follow along with the prompt myself because it was my excuse to draw mushrooms, and um, I'm kind of going at my own pace because I'm very busy, but I have done at least a third of them, and we'll just continue to do the list throughout the summer. In this video, I am painting a violet quart, the fly agaric, coral, violet coral mushrooms, black trumpets, boar's head tooth, jack-o'-lanterns, orange chanterelles, and a moral. And I may pronounce these things wrong because I'm one of those people who always reads and never talks. So, you know, I, I know the words, but I don't know how to say them because I don't say them to anybody ever. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about each of these. I think all of these mushrooms, except for the violet cor coral mushroom, are ones that are local or native to the area that I live. I have personally found those violet quartz, the yellow fly agaric, black trumpets, boar's head tooth, and jack-o'-lanterns. Um, I really like the violet quartz. They're probably my favorite local mushroom. They're really cool. They're that bright, beautiful periwinkle color, and their caps are nice and glossy, which just, it looks so neat. I actually used my own picture as reference for those ones. And then the yellow fly agaric that I find pretty frequently out in the woods. Um, and I like those because, again, the color is super bright, and I love all the little flecks on the top. Those those little flecks, I believe, are from the, uh, the veil that kind of covers the top of them, and then when the cap kind of expands and grows, those little dots are just kind of what's left of the, the film that was covering them. Could be wrong about that. I have to check. Though I've never found a violet coral, 
There are other coral mushrooms that I find around here that are more of a pale, fleshy color. Um, the first time I found those was a couple years ago. I was on a hike with my dad for my birthday. Um, we were doing an overnight hike up in northern New Hampshire and we saw a lot of cool things. We saw these cool little coral mushroom clusters, which I thought would be a really neat thing to base a city design off of. They just look so weird and sci-fi. Um, we saw a grouse that was kind of strutting around near us and didn't really care that we were there. There was a cool little birch forest. Lots of other mushrooms. I'm terrible to hike with because I always want to stop and look at all the mushrooms and all the weird little things that I find. I, those were probably some of the, the more exciting things that we saw on the, the hiking trip. Oh, we found a cool log that was just covered in puffball mushrooms. It was like a little party. That was cool. Um, so black trumpets? Black trumpets were probably the first edible mushroom that I found that got me into mushroom foraging. I found them in a little cluster out in the woods on this, this path that nobody had taken in quite a long time. It was pretty overgrown and I wasn't actually even sure that it was a path because it disappeared in places and I kind of just walked through the woods. Um, so I found a cluster of them and I was like, what are these? These are so weird. I've never seen these before. They're very like crusty and grotesque looking. And so when I went home, I looked them up. I found out what they were. I found out they were edible and um, I learned how to cook some really, really good gravy with them. And I love that they have this very earthy, rich flavor. I'm really hungry for mashed potatoes now. Um, I recommend those if you like dark, earthy flavors. They're so tasty. And you can find them even in grocery stores sometimes, or like health food stores. They'll have like little packages of dried mushrooms. You can usually find black trumpets there. Boar's head tooth is another mushroom I found pretty nearby. It was one where I found it, I had no idea what it was. It actually uh, startled me because it was growing on a log on the side of the trail and out of the corner of my eye it looks like a little person was sitting on the log. I was like, what is that? Um, so I went home, researched it, um, came back, took a sample of it, investigated a little bit more. And um, I've never eaten that one. I've, I've been told it tastes a little bit like seafood and that's just not what I'm looking for in, when I want to eat mushrooms. So, um, it looks really cool, but I haven't eaten it. If you've eaten it, let me know. Also, I've heard this called other things and I've been told that only people from New Hampshire call it boar's head tooth. So I don't know if something got lost in translation somewhere, if it's just a local name for it or what, but um, you might know that mushroom by a different name. Jack-o'-lanterns I have found in the woods. They were all growing on a cluster on this log and they grow there like every year. And I wanted to find out if they were orange chanterelles or if they were jack-o'-lanterns. So I did a bunch of research, learned to tell the difference between the two, and the ones that I found are definitely jack-o'-lanterns, which is a bummer because you can't eat them. But, um, well, you can't eat them. Not only can you not eat them, and they're not recommended, they don't taste good, they're poisonous, so don't eat them. Don't eat them. Cool thing about them, though, is they are bioluminescent. They glow in the dark. It's very, very faint, and um, I haven't gone out down that path during the night, so I don't know if you can see it faintly at all with your eyes. I don't know if you would have to take like a, a photo with the 
long exposure to really pick it up. But just the fact that they glow is pretty cool. Um, the orange chanterelles. I have not eaten, but maybe I'll, I'll try to find some and cook some in the near future, because I've been told that they're really, really good. And morals. Morals are kind of like the mushroom that everybody is obsessed with. Um, at least people who eat mushrooms. And um, I've had it, and they were okay. Um, I had them at a restaurant. I, they're probably better if I were to get them fresh and prepare them myself, so it's something that I'll probably try again in the future. I've never found them in the woods, and I would be super excited to find some in the woods. Yeah, so that's my quick little ramble about all these different mushrooms. Um, the other two mushrooms that I've painted are Chicken of the Woods and Hen of the Woods. I have tried both of those mushrooms, they're both edible. I don't like Chicken of the Woods that much, I don't like the texture. Could be that the ones I had were just not super great, because a lot of people I know really like those. Um, Hen of the Woods, on the other hand, they're great. I'm probably going to go cook myself some for my late lunch. They're super tasty. They have that rich, buttery, earthy flavor to them. And um, you can get them at the grocery store most of the time. I live out in the middle of nowhere and they have them at my grocery store. I hope to be doing more of these little mushrooms and I'll share them as I go. And if there's any that you would like to see me paint that are not on the list, let me know. And um, let me know if you're also following along with this art challenge. And link me, because I want to see. I've been going through all of the posts and liking all of them and commenting on a few. It's really exciting. I found some really, really cool artists. So thanks for following along. I hope you enjoy this little rambly video.